We're starting off with a closed beta phase where we only have 50 beta users, um, pilot users who are letting us know how they feel about our, our platform, um, you know, constantly seeking their feedback and build from there. Well, initially we did some pilots with our customers and since we are in the B2B space, uh, we are using some traditional approaches, both in online and in the offline manner. Our plan is to use the traditional channels such as user communities, expert communities, uh, road shows, word of mouth, but having the social media as a booster. At the startup, we don't have a lot of funds. So what we can do is capitalize on our resources that we have that are cheap and efficient. And word of mouth is a great way of doing that. If you want to build a service which is viral, which it people can refer on the word of mouth, that this is an amazing service, these guys have built it, and you should use it. But we also use PR opportunities, which means advertising in magazines that they would read in newspapers to get them on board and really uh, get new customers and get our service out there. We are working with the top 15 or 20 uh, food and lifestyle bloggers here in London. They've all tested the app, they're really excited about it, and they're going to be coming to a little pre-launch event that we're, uh, we're doing in a few weeks. In the past, we've acquired our customers mostly through a Kickstarter campaign um, and reaching those people through our LBS networks, through our personal networks, and through Kickstarter itself. Moving forward, we're going to look to expand that greatly. Uh, and that has a lot to do with the fact that our market is young professionals living in the city. So that's quite a broad market to reach. We're also uh, a product business, but we're, we're bundling that with a service. So for us, we understand that building our brand is something that's gonna be essential to our success.